Nutrition in humans involves five stages. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and digestion. Ingestion is the taking in of food. Digestion is the breaking down of useful components in the food into simpler forms. Absorption is the inclusion of useful substances from the digested food into the bloodstream. Assimilation is the process in which the body uses the substances absorbed in the blood. Adjustion is the elimination of undigested food material from the body as waste. Here is a representation of the human digestive system. The digestive system is made up of several organs and glands that process food. The food we eat travels through a long tubular tract called the alimentary canal. The food is digested in the alimentary canal and useful substances enter the bloodstream. What remains is the waste and it leaves the body through the anus. The cavity which forms the beginning of the digestive system. The mouth is externally bound by lips and cheeks. It contains a set of teeth and a tongue. The process of digestion begins in the mouth. It converts the food we eat into a soft, sticky mass called bolus. The hard bone-like structures in the mouth that help in chewing. An adult human being has four kinds of teeth, namely incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Incisors are the cutting teeth, canines are the tearing teeth, premolars and molars are the grinding teeth. The process of chewing food is called mastication. The arrangement of incisors, canines, premolars and molars in each half of the upper and lower jaws is represented by a dental formula. The dental formula of human beings is 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3 by 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3. The flexible muscular organ which occupies the floor of the mouth. The tongue is covered with a mucous membrane. The top surface of the tongue contains many projections of the mucous membrane called the papillae. The papillae contain taste buds. Taste buds enable us to recognize if the food is salty, sour, sweet, or bitter. The tongue also moistens the oral cavity and lubricates food. It moves the food around the mouth and helps in chewing and swallowing. Glands in the oral cavity that secrete saliva. There are three pairs of salivary glands in the mouth. The largest pair, parotid glands, lies just behind the angle of the jaw, and the two smaller pairs, sublingual glands and the submandibular glands lie deep in the floor of the mouth. Salivary glands produce saliva, which moistens food and helps in the breakdown of starch into sugar. The muscular canal that extends from the throat to the stomach. Esophagus is about 25 to 30 centimeter long and 1.5 to 2 centimeter wide. It is also called the food pipe or the gullet. Muscles in the wall of the esophagus contract and relax to push food down to the stomach. This muscular movement is called peristalsis. The hollow muscular bag which plays an important role in digestion. The stomach is a sac-like J-shaped muscular organ of the alimentary canal. The wall of the stomach contains digestive glands which secrete digestive juices, hydrochloric acid and mucus.
the digestive juices help in the breakdown of proteins into their simpler forms. Hydrochloric acid kills any microorganism that may be present in the food. Mucus protects the inner wall of the stomach from hydrochloric acid. The stomach mixes and churns food and converts it into a thick, partially digested semi-fluid mass called the chyme. It discharges chyme into the small intestine periodically. A long narrow tube in which the process of digestion is completed. The small intestine is the longest organ of the alimentary canal. It is more than 6 meters long and about 2.5 to 3 centimeters wide. It lies in the middle of the abdominal cavity. The small intestine has three sections, the duodenum, jejunum and ileum. The churning action of the small intestine mixes food with bile, mucus and several digestive enzymes. As the food moves through the small intestine, digestion of proteins, fats and carbohydrates is completed. The wall of the small intestine absorbs the nutrients from the digested food and transfers them into the bloodstream. This process is called absorption. A large triangular shaped organ that secretes bile. Liver is reddish brown in color and is located in the upper part of the abdomen to the right of the stomach. Liver produces a green watery fluid called the bile. Bile produced in the liver is transferred to the gallbladder where it is stored until it is used for digestion. Bile helps in the breakdown of fats. It also helps to neutralize acidic food substances. A small pear-shaped muscular organ which stores bile. Gallbladder is located just beneath the liver. Gallbladder is connected to the liver by the hepatic duct. The main function of the gallbladder is to store bile, a digestive juice secreted by the liver. Bile is stored in the gallbladder until it is used for digestion. The gallbladder contracts to release bile through the bile duct into the duodenum. A gland that secretes digestive enzymes in the small intestine and hormones into the bloodstream. Pancreas is a pale and rubbery gland located in the upper part of the abdomen behind the stomach. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice into the small intestine and hormones, insulin and glucagon into the bloodstream. Pancreatic juice contains several digestive enzymes that help in the breakdown of carbohydrates, proteins and fats into simple substances which the body is able to use. Water and minerals from undigested food is absorbed here. The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long and about 6 centimeters wide. It comprises of cecum, colon and rectum. Cecum acts as a connection between the small intestine and the large intestine. It receives processed food from the small intestine and moves it towards the colon. Colon is the longest part of the large intestine and is shaped like an inverted U. Here, most of the water and mineral salts are absorbed into the bloodstream. The semi-solid material that remains is known as feces. Feces are stored in the rectum until it is adjusted through the anus.
An opening at the lower end of the alimentary canal through which solid waste is eliminated from the body. Anus is the opening at the end of the alimentary canal through which feces is eliminated from the body. The act of expelling feces from the body is called ejection or defecation. The anus is surrounded by sphincter muscles which enable the anus to open and allow feces to pass through.